But that just taught me that he found something and it said, you found me, make a wish and hide me again. So now I'm gonna try and find it if I can. It's somewhere here in the castle. But I wonder where. We just had some awesome food in the place called the Nook. It's right next to the causeway. And uh, now we're moving on to uh, Carrickery Road Bridge. So that, uh, can't wait for that. Excited. It's gonna be a bit dangerous, but fun. We're on our way into Carrickery Road Bridge. Excited. I think everyone is. I'm gonna put my GoPro on my head so uh, get some nice footage. So we're here at the rope bridge, waiting to go on. It's just through that gate, right there, right down. <laughs> so yeah, a couple of minutes and we'll be crossing. <laughs> it's very shaky. What a view. Oh, so we survived. We're across the rope bridge. It was funny. It was. It was cool, wasn't it? Yeah. Bouncy. Uh, it was very bouncy, but uh, totally worth it. And it was only nine pounds to get in. So if you're up around here, you should definitely visit. We have to get back as well. So we're just going to look around here a little bit and yeah, see what your story is. You right? Celia recording me walking backwards, I am absolutely shit nuts. <laughs> I know I can't fall off, but oh shit, my lace. Oh my god, my lace has just came open. <laughs> oh, my dad's bouncing the bridge, fuck off. <laughs> Celia running, she runs like a typical Swede, gracefully. Sheep actually does look like he was dragged through a bush. <laughs> Bushes are very in this season. So that's it from Carrick Reed. Oh man, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. <sighs> but yeah, what a trip. Causeway, Carrick Reed Rope Bridge, and now we're heading to Dunluce Castle. Ah, look at the state of me. Oh my god. And yeah, onwards to Dunluce. So we're here at Dunluce Castle. There it is in the background. There, I'm pointing at it right now. There it is. We're here, babe. Yes. You wanna go down there and take yeah, the photos? Yeah, definitely. Go. Dunluce Castle. Here we go. I caught her running. Thinking of buying a new hat. What do you think? What do you think? Okay. Hello. Yeah, but this castle doesn't look anything like that castle. Well, that's because the roof is gone. This place is really cool. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's like Minecraft. <laughs> there. We just found the king of the castle. Give your hand. Thank you.
my dad just taught me that he found something and it said, you found me, make a wish and hide me again. So now I'm gonna try and find it if I can. It's somewhere here in the castle, but I wonder where. Can't find anything. I've been searching now for a few minutes. I'm trying to retrace these footsteps to see where, uh, see where he went, but I just can't find anything. I found a stone. I found it. Oh, there's, there's the smell of piss in here. <laughs> found it. So you know that old saying, it's like trying to find a pebble in a castle. But I'm gonna hide this somewhere else now, so I gotta be super sneaky. It's actually really cute. It has a little shamrock on it. It says, make a wish and rehide me. Rock by Myla, age five. So Myla, I'm gonna make a wish and hide this. Now I just gotta think of my wish. Uh, okay, I got one. Done. Now I'm gonna hide it. No one can see me. I hope no one can see me. Gotta be super sneaky. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine. Maybe someone else will find it. Who knows? If you do happen to find it, let me know in the comments. <whistles> Nothing suspicious going on here. Do 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 do. What will we discover inside? Oh hi! You just caught me doing my daily archaeology routine. This is something. I have a newfound appreciation for what Sophie does. It's like the opposite of painting. Just mold. Oh, there's a fork. Shit, the pipes, clay pipes. Sophie finds a lot of them, I think. Really? My, my best friend is she's an archaeologist. I wonder what else is in here. No dinosaurs. So that's it, getting ready to leave Dunluce Castle. But where to next? We're actually heading to the Dark Hedges. Made famous by Game of Thrones. Hold on. So yeah, we're gonna stop there for a few minutes and uh, yeah, get a couple of shots and then we're gonna head into Belfast. Ooh. <laughs> We're on our way to the dark hedges and well dad spotted them first and we didn't see him but there's <laughs> loads of bears in the trees. Actually they're they're kinda creepy. They really are kinda creepy. Who puts them up there? Is that a Game of Thrones thing? So we've been away for three days and it just started raining for the first time. But look where we are. Coming up to the dark hedges. How cool is this? We're on our way, it doesn't look so great now, but I think once we get over the little crest here in the road, it's gonna look a lot better. Oh, my, my phone is getting soaked, my microphone and stuff. But you know what, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Oh, <laughs> just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm good at that. <laughs> yeah, sneaky like a cat. <laughs> really annoying that people standing in my shot. Get out of my shot. Get out of my shot. Oh, this to me is Game of Thrones, definitely. This is the Dark Hedges shot. It's actually nice on the way back too. Except there's the people in my shirt, god damn it! <laughs> you wanna take a photo? Yeah. Selfie time! Although it's video, selfie! Yep, she's officially crazy. I think all the Northern Irish air has kind of gone to her head. Yeah, it must be all the salt in the air or something like that. Sell this trees for sale! So, if you're in the market for a new dead tree, uh, you, you know the number to call, just call those lads, they'll sort you out. They will sort you out with a brand new dead tree. So we just got back to the apartment we're staying to the house we're staying in. Fairly full, had a really nice meal. But uh, on the way home, uh, we were passing through Shankill. During the troubles, it was like a, I've heard it's a, it was a pretty dangerous place. Uh, but uh, a car started following us, <laughs> and my dad made me really paranoid, thinking like that 
someone was legitimately following us and they followed us almost right up to the front door but then turned off and went into another house yeah, but it was only th- like 20 meters away they stopped yeah it was it was just a coincidence i guess yeah, but uh, our house is really like yeah far up and so if we make it through the night belfast we'll get a good rating i guess i think the three of us kind of got a little bit paranoid because no, we were it wasn't. Well, she wasn't because she doesn't understand the whole troubles <laughs> and driving a Republic van in the north, which I've heard can cause troubles. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just one of those neutral Swedes. Yeah, she's neutral. She, they, they don't, they like it. They love everyone. They, they want a war with anyone. And just like, yeah. You're nice. Nice. Yeah, you are nice, but like, have a war every now and again. Come on. So after everything today, the causeway, the rope bridge, uh, Dunluce Castle, uh, the Dark Hedges. Like we've done a lot today, so I'm just gonna fall into bed and relax, and yeah, sleep off my sore legs. Gonna end this vlog here, and we shall see. Oh, <laughs> I was just covering you off there. So we're gonna end this vlog here, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you in the next one. We're heading off to the Titanic exhibit tomorrow, so that should be fun. You excited about that? Yeah. She just did that. Oh, where's her head? Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Uh, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Silly. Goodbye.